That wake you up? Good. Welcome to <laughs> XCOM. <laughs> Welcome to XCOM. I don't know why I screamed. I honestly don't know why I did. <laughs> But Dev says the cat is very unhappy you made this noise. I don't know, I don't know why I did that. Uh, PG Death said, I, I wonder how hard it is to mod in custom variants. I want a Cyclops Slepnir in Bexcom, damn it. I'm gonna have to beg Harry for it next time we see Harry. Um, <laughs> Sometimes you just feel what the right noise to make is, and that was the right one there. Hey, we got an abduction in India, a country we currently have a satellite over. It's the 8th of September. Um, and I rarely pay attention to the date in this game, but it is right now. Um, if you weren't here last time, we put up our new air game and satellites over Africa. Uh, that continent is under XCOM control, under XCOM protection, I should say now. Um, India had a satellite that was immediately destroyed, which we briefly put up for like, well, we were hoping we'd get more out of the, um, the lab adjacency thing, but it really didn't work out. So currently, just looking at a bit of air game fun like this. We could probably use an extra interceptor for each continent. But for now, uh, add Harry to ask Juicy to the mech. Oh god, yes. Yes, please, custom paint job. It's gotta say Juicy on the back, I agree. Um, what happened to them mech, Spiegel? What do you mean? What do you mean what happened to them mechs? They're fine. We, we got Shogun. And we're about to go on an alien abduction. So... Roadway. I want a concealment scout for a roadway, please. Slink says, was this the chat that had someone get pissed the streamer was louder than call you a fuck or something? Yes, it was. Good memory, Slink. Yes, it was. Brackets, brackets. Had to get up. You're so fucking loud. Correct. How scared are we of this abduction? I could bring the in the zone sniper if I'm scared. We're not that scared, are we, guys? We can take speed bump instead to level them up. Though, with the way XP works now, what am I getting, like, 4 XP a day? It'll only take 20 days before speed bump naturally levels into Master Sergeant anyway. Whoa. Bit of a gap between them and my next sniper. No, then it's flopsing. Bit of a gap, though, between my top three snipers and then I got two sergeants. Um, yeah, that's right. Hope you, hope you burn in hell. You're so fucking loud. I had to get up. Brackets, brackets. Did they really say, hope you burn in hell? I don't remember that part. I feel like we added that. That's incredibly aggressive. Did they really, they didn't, no, they didn't say, hope you burn in hell. No way. They did? What the fuck? <laughs> That was only like five months ago, I feel like, but or like a year, I guess, but I forgot that. Swear on your life? Damn. That's fucked up. Hope you burn in hell. Had to get up. You're so fucking loud. <laughs> Bounty says, do you still need to take them to a mission to promote if they get XP from other sources like Scum 2? I don't think so. In this one, Bounty, I've noticed people just randomly get promoted, so it's cool. Yeah, it was so over the top, yeah. I think we're going to take Bamboo. It's in the zone time, kids. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It is probably Zhang time. Have I done the thing with you yet? I must have done the thing with you because you're in VPT, which means I probably cycled you. 2021, um, August 20th, oh no, sorry, July 25th. Okay, that's a little bit further. Oh, damn, time is going fast. That moment was from two years ago? Year and a half ago? Jesus. It's like I follow that account that's like progress bar of the year and yesterday I clicked on one that was like, oh, it's currently 24% of the way through the year. And I was like, what the fuck? No. Yet 2023 just started. What is going on? Jesus, that's when coronavirus is only like a year and a year and change, almost two years in. Damn. I don't know what's happening to time. It's accelerating. 
Let's take our good troops for this one. Dementia Rush kicking in. I like the name Dementia Rush for some reason. It's very cute. Jeff, what is that video link? Oh, is it the VOD? Uh, oh, how the fuck is it? <laughs> Are you okay, bro? How the fuck is it almost April? <laughs> We got Sammy, Dick Dozer. Sammy will be here later when we play Stalker Gamma, no, no doubt. I'm sure Sammy has this in third monitor content right now, while he's playing Stalker Gamma, actually. Banny says, I'm imagining Dementia Rush is like Adrenaline Rush, you just, so you just suddenly forget a lot of things. I have that hit me a lot, it's actually a very useful term. I feel like I'm struck by that a lot. How many Shoguns are I ready to go? I have Slayer and then Brit down here. I need a third Shogun already, hey. We'll bring Slayer. Dementia Rush is just Bonehead. <laughs> yeah. And we'll take Major QJW, okay. Gear up, can I finally set your loadout today? Yes. What? No. Yes. Uh, my, um... Ah, oh, fuck. My fucking side button is so busted. My, my, my mouse's side button has, like, lost all its strength. Like, no, that's disgusting. I'm not gonna use that as a metaphor. Um, yeah, just basically, my mouse's side button has lost all of its, like, strength. And now whenever I brush it, it, like, presses the button. It's annoying. I'm gonna need a new mouse soon, I think. It's like my TeamSpeak talkie button. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. We haven't got the Gauss long rifle yet, have we? No, I don't don't think so. I think it's coming. I think we just got it and it's coming. Maybe. How close are we to it? Is it coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four days. Four days. Ooh, Yummer fighters soon, fellow stalker. Yummers. Yummy, yum, yum. Ready. Steady. And go. Okay, great. Let's get out there. So now we're probably going to do a mission or two of XCOM today, like a, an hour or two of XCOM, and then do some Stalker Gamma mod later on, is the plan. Which I'm very excited to try. Engagement for this Interesting title. India. Local government forces have reported a coordinated Interesting alien map. attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Interesting map. This one is always a doozy depending on LZ. I don't want to land low, hopefully. Please, yeah, good, good. We're landing high. This is better. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Alright, motion tracking. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we, uh, yeah. And it's a roadway, of course, folks. We love these maps. We love these shoebox fucking maps. Okay, so... The way we do this map is we control one half, then the other, before we kind of, like, go over the no man's land. So we'll focus on controlling all of the high ground here, all of the high part of this map, then we'll go low. We can already see uh, low ground pod, pod, right away there. So all we really want to do here is just push on up and look for the enemies uh, to our front. Paso ligero. Oh boy. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. So there's like a pod in here, I think. Maybe. It's more likely they're behind it, but they might be in the building. We also have... 
So we've got one pod, two pod, three pod, four pod. We can see almost all the pods on the map right away. Uh, there might be, I think, another one, though. I think there's a fifth pod or maybe even a sixth. I think there's going to be a fifth pod out there as well. Probably back here because it's the only place we haven't explored at this point. Thin Min, we see. Is it just Thin Min? Beagle Rush will have a look. Hey, what the fuck? Anyway, yeah, Beagle Rush will have a look here. Thin Min, Thin Min, Thin Min. It looks like it's just Thin Min. Oh, quite, quite a many Thin Min, actually. Hang on, how split is this pod? One, two, three, four, five. That looks like a split pod, because you see other aliens. Whenever you see one member of a pod in the fog, you see all of them. Danny says, if the pod is in the warehouse, it's easy to control. They can't leave through the front door. Yes, if I could get to here before they walk out themselves, that's true. And we can actually see here, um... Yeah, they, they actually are in the warehouse. Yeah, you can see because it's online. I think one of them is outside the wall. I think one of them's outside. Maybe? I can't fucking really tell very well. Yeah, I think one of them is like here, and then the other three are inside. Interesting, because they're not on the roof, I would have seen them. Okay, so we want to move up then. Um, you got to be careful here, because if you, well, maybe we don't want to move up, because if you move to here, uh, this tile here, which looks good, you'll you'll end up activating these guys when they come out the door. We probably don't want that. We probably want more like to... But are these guys going to fly over? This is kind of a really rough spot, because it depends on what the guys on this side are. If they're flying enemies, if, if they're not flying enemies, they probably don't come up here. They usually don't. But if they're flying enemies, and they just go like, whoop! Then you're going to get L-shaped really fucking hard. Um, having two pods up here, it, it's rough. So I probably don't want to actually don't wanna actually want to go too far. I want to be like ready to retreat, if necessary, from what's going to happen to me on my left flank. Like, you probably don't want to go beyond this car. You don't want to go to here just yet. I would say put gunners in corner positions where they won't have to reposition if they get flanked. Because that's probably going to be happening a lot on this fight. Where's this pole? Oh yeah, that's old news. Someone can take down my pin now. I, I give you all permission. Permission to my mods. Mods! Ah, uh, sniper's going to go back here. Probably another gunner here. Aye, aye. Um, infantry, infantry, sniper, I don't know where the medic goes. Medic just like chills out. Here, okay. Well, actually put the medic here in full cover then, and then you can go like infantry, infantry. But then they're not close enough to shoot. Mm. You want to be in smoke range too, though the sniper won't be no matter what if they're back here, which they're going to be. But smoke range is also a thing to consider here. Three, five, seven, 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 five. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Five, seven, seven, seven. Five, three. You can't get this rock and get everyone else at the same time. That rock just isn't in range, unfortunately. So the better thing would be to have the sniper come back here with you, I think. And put everyone here, and then everyone can be, uh, smoked. Heading to that location. Plan ahead. Going there now. Plan ahead like this, folks. It just works out better this way. Affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. So G says, I want, kind of want to see more backs come, that's fine too. It wasn't a real poll. It was Sammy being silly. I already decided what I'm playing today. I am on it's just Sammy being excited for our stalker, that's all it was. Scan. Sammy's excited. I'm a little bit too, I think it's gonna be fun today. As long as it doesn't crash. Oh shit. That's a disky. So that's really bad because like I said, flying enemy is also one of the worst flying enemies to have on my flank. It's also liable to be a really fucking annoying activation where like, 
a drone flies up and activates, and then the disc just, like, sits down at the bottom and goes, like, blue, 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 blue. And then next turn gets to fly up and shoot me before I can suppress it. Uh, that sounds horrible. I am not happy. My friend. Hope you, hope you well. Thank you, I am. And your scatter's revealed. Yep. So we can activate Thin Man too. Getting rid of the Thin Man now might be preferable. Um, maybe, uh, because it's, it's all going to happen anyway. That's a fair point, yeah. I haven't got, like, any good shots on them, though. I guess I could, like, magic spell them. I can, like, and then kill one for free of the sniper. So what I want to do is, like, move up. To, uh, just outside the range of this freak here. It's like, that's too close, apparently. But try, like, right there, maybe. Okay, what about right here? You're right there. Okay. Don't blow up this half cover because that will actually allow um, the thin man to take cover on this. Uh, full cover, which we don't want. Though also they wouldn't be able to step out, so maybe we do. They probably wouldn't be able to get an angle on you. Because of how that works, that's kind of okay. Because step out doesn't work like that next gun one. Whereas here they would be able to see me. Interesting. Um, maybe then, yeah. Maybe destroy all this cover. No point destroying that one. But I can go like this, destroy all of that. I guess them taking this position is fine, because it won't be in range of anything unless they're a sniper. And it gives my sniper a good shot on them. Yeah, we can collect the box car in a couple turns, that's right. For now, maybe just try and destroy all this cover. We're gonna destroy as much of their cover as possible, of course. Without hitting the Thin Man. Do not hit the Thin Man here. I guess I'll just take these two for now. Next turn, we'll snipe you. You might not be invisible anymore. That's great, though. If you're not visible, that'd be great. No, you are. Um, okay. So, I have in the zone, too. But you're kind of left in the open. I don't want to engage this turn. I want to wait till next turn. And I want to light you up with the sniper. I don't want to go this turn because of... They'll shoot the uh, exposed mech. But they didn't activate? Yeah, didn't shoot him, didn't activate. Look, sounds like sectoids ran out of the warehouse on the right there. All the meld. So we'll start activating now. Once we kill the Thin Men, we can move on to engage the Sectoids. Once we kill the Sectoids, we can control the top half of the map. Let's do it. Oh. Innocent requires you to kill them. Damn. How many was that that looked like it was actually only four? Am I crazy or was that only four Thin Men activated just then by UI? I thought I counted five in that pod. Kind of four. I counted four too. I think it was only four. We can run you back now, which is good. Uh, I've seen two of them run down. I think all of them are down except for this one. Isn't the pod split? Yeah, but I feel like the other one was down here and I, from this angle I should have seen them. Uh, let's bring you right back. Bring you all right back. Position confirmed. I think it was only five there. I'm watching for them. 
Incomply count five? Okay, so it was five. Trust in the split pod. Once only brings to the end. Yeah, there you go. Trust, trust. I don't know where they all are, but um, it's a little bit awkward. Oh, that's awkward. That's very awkward. Missed. Negative damage. Another one. Zhang's gonna hit. Maybe not. Enemy is still alive. And another one. You're gonna definitely miss. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. You led that target a little too much. How dare you? How don't you gas me? Gas! I'm not feeling well at all. Gas! Now we all have respirator implants, so we don't really give a fuck. We sh we're just immune to the damage. I think we still have the aim penalty, but we're immune to the damage, right? Isn't that what respirator does? Well, let's check. Protects against acid and strangulation. Yeah, baby. So it's only a partial penalty, which is fucking sweet. It's like the best item in the fucking game. Like, it just... Nah. It's just everything. It's just everything, folks. Okay, so we just want to, like, get rid of all your cover and all that shit. Gonna move up like one more time, we're gonna probably smoke too. I'm on it, Commander. Can you believe we used to ignore it? Yeah, wild times. Can I get both? Yes, I can get both. I wonder if this will work on the edges like this. But uh Targeting defenses. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah! Ah, I only destroyed the cosmetic piece on the front. I wondered if that would happen from the way the highlight looked, but then when I moved the highlight closer, it was the same highlight. So I was like, oh, it must just be the whole thing. Yeah, it just got, like, the cosmetic, like, door on the front, but not the wall, because it was so pixeled. I mean, I still got a kill out of it. Hey, just game engine things. I still got a kill out of it. Thin man, thin cover. Good one, Bjag. Good one. You got lightning? Yeah, you got lightning, so we don't want to suppress spam you. We want to go shoot shoot on you. Oh, we just blow the wall open of you. Different wall, but still. Nice. It's kind of sick. Uh, pistol? <laughs> it, it did it again! Did it again, bitch! Nice, Sang! Yeah, go twice. I'm not gonna dense smoke yet, I think, because I wanna throw a scan. I wanna throw a scan and see what's happening on my, on my left. Because those, the thin men on my left might be moving to a position where they can actually flank me over here now, and I want to know about it. I need to know where they are. There's a couple. So down to three thin men now. Good scan? Yeah, I think so. I don't know where the fucking... Oh, there's all of them too. I don't know where the, the cyber disc went, it's a little bit spooky. But we see one, two, three thin men all here. We can see none of them should be in flanking danger yet, but they're getting very close. On a dash, they will be flanking me. This one can shoot me this turn as well, but not flank, I don't think. Lock and load. Rock and roll. I feel, Commander. Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Overwatch. Overwatch. All right. Cyberdisc and over the dimension holding teleport powers. Do you guys want a Cyberdisc ship in Freelancer? Flying source of Cyberdisc? That's a load of bulk. 
no way that just happened. It'll crit your ship for 20 damage. Don't Let's shoot the mech. Oh, that's okay. alright. Thin men have pissy damage, so it's actually fine to shoot the mech. Can we transform like the disc? It's the first thing I thought of, and the answer is technically yes, but I don't know how to. But yeah, I've seen like... I've seen that done, yeah. I hope they brought more than that. Like fold out wings and stuff. You don't have an urban mech and freelancer? That can be made. Is um... I kind of want to make that like a gunship ship that's like very slow but has really good like strafing left and right and up and down power like a little flying turret. Alright, we'll repair server a lot of that. Wait, you don't have repair servers, that's Brit, whoops. Whoa. Uh -oh. You cannot jump across the car, I don't think, so that's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11 to flank me, I think. I think that's too far for you. Rabbit says, wow, I forgot how bad Thimmin are before upgrades. Better days. Their damage never really goes up, is what I'm told. So, they're always like this. It never gets better for them. If I can kill you... It's not back yet, is it? No. I was going to say, if I can kill you, I can flank that one. I actually just flank them with you. Banny says, their damage only goes up after 700 research. Well, there you go. When is Slappers not appearing? Slappers are already here. We've already fought one. Come over here, Slayer. I'm on the move. Let's hollow you to make sure the job is done, I think. Where's that scout? Pia! Nice fucking pistol. God damn a skeet skeet. Hey, yeah. I have no ammunition. Now down. we can. You haven't got lightning, so I can hollow flush you. Might be cool. Keeps my double tap in, in act for if the disc suddenly shows up as well. So let's do that. Let's go. Suppression. Aye, aye. I'm gonna do one shot. Just crit infantry. You're just dead. You're just dead. Moving to Overwatch. Got it covered. I feel, Commander. Hang on, if I want to reload. Reload. Reload at least. Or do an Overwatch here. I'm worried about the Discord coming. God, the rats are so fantastic, aren't they? We want to do a little respectful visit to the rats. Oh, cute little thing, man. You always gotta pay your respects to the rats when you get a chance, folks. The rats that Firaxis never meant for you to see this up close. Remember, zooming in this close is a modded feature. Oh, I love these rats. It's a testament. Every, every time I see these rats, I'm like, it's a testament. These rats, they look so busted up close, but at, at, at range, you can't tell. What a, what a, what fantastic rats. Rats like that are a sign of the absolute professional AAA quality of this game. Absolutely, unironically. Because when you, when you zoom in beyond what the game's zo original zoom let you, you're like, okay, obviously that's, that's fucking weird. But when you're right here, an excellent use of game resources. Absolutely economical and efficient. I love it. Fan-fucking-tastic. Just like the pigeons. Honestly. Wonderful work. Alright, so we know there's one down there. Um, we're gonna reload and get ready to have fun with them, I guess. I'm on it, Commander. I probably should've come over and got healed, but whatever, too late now. Defensive position ready to engage hostile targets. Good to go. Good to go. You can never make those rats of aces, but that's so true. Up. So true. Yes, Good to go. Roger. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing about the thin man over here. I should probably have thought about that a bit more. What was that? I want to motion track again and run over and see what he's up to, I think. I 
don't think we're alone out here. I feel like if I go over there um, and try to shoot that thin man, I'm gonna reveal the side of this pod. Yeah, goodbye, Mel. We know we're not getting the meld. It's like the other sectors are trapped in there. It's kind of funny. I hear my people. Yeah, so the Thin Man is flanking on my left, but like what is also happening is that the fucking disc bot is down there. Oh, Nixie. I think I'll come to here and get eyes on him. The council is requesting your hey, thank you, Dr. Danger. DRDNGR has just tipped 10 dollars. I, he just wanted to say Bing Bomb, but in an Italian voice. Well, this is the only channel in the world where you can pay $10 to do that. So thank you very much, Dr. Danger, for the $10 donation. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's come to here. Yeah, the disc pod is patrolling, so I shouldn't get perma-stuck anyway. Oh, it's not the disc pod. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Now I might be perma-stuck, because that might actually be a different pod. No, no, that, that is the disc pod. I thought it was floaters. For some reason, the drones jump jets next to the crate. I thought that was a floater for a second. Um, no, that is the disc pod, right? Or isn't it? Or maybe it isn't. Unless the disc is really split. Yeah, that's actually not the disc pod. That's its own pod. That's cool. We can line up to kill that. That's a pretty easy pod to kill if we just line up on it. Okay, so... We don't see the Thin Man though, where's the Thin Man? Thin Man's like here. We should reorient- I just don't want to get caught by wherever the disc is on my side. But we should reorient for the potential Thin Man flanking attempt on us here. We can just like bring everyone over, right? We just like bring everyone over to the left here, temporarily. That would be fine. Time to motor. Why don't you come on over, baby? We can shake. Shake, shake. Medic can come to here. I'm on the move. Return mech over to here to get healed. Cover position here. Man up and get back out there. Hang on, my sweet child Nyx is complaining. I have to go see what she's up to. What's up? Check on my child. Lots of meowing. I understand. You stayed there, then no, you have to move too. Got it, moving. I'm covering that area. <laughs> We'll get the Thin Man, then we'll get this pod, then we'll get the Sectoids, and hopefully we'll get the Disc Last on its own as ideal activations. Where is that? Whoa! Now that should be a dash. That should certainly be a dash. Yes, that is certainly a dash. That is a Thin Man saying, watch this, I'm going to go sicko mode. And uh, going going very very hard. Everything by the numbers. Well, well, Mr. Thin Man. Position confirmed. Kraus88 subscribed for 53 months, and they said, "What if I told you I forgot to unsubscribe again? Please remind me." <laughs> uh, thank thanks for your 53 and month subscription, Kraus. Appreciate it. Thanks, bud. Good stuff. 
You've been forgetting for four years? Oh, I've been taking advantage of you. <laughs> I understand. I'm signed up to a lot of stuff like that too. Thank you, Krause. Oh, my other baby kitty is here. Hello. Good baby. My other baby kitty is here sitting in the chair next to me. Um, I guess we're gonna get these shits in a minute too then. We'll let probably let the mech re re get its turn back. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Kinda worry about the disc coming back though the longer we wait. But if the disc comes back, I can just not activate them. Should have steady aimed. Roger, I've got my eyes on. If I had a big brain, should have steady aimed there. Ah! Okay. Maybe we leave them and we get the sectoids about, uh, on the high ground first. How about that? How? Wait. No, then I have to pull them. That's okay, dude. We can pull them backwards. So we don't want to fight them from here. We want to pull back. Actually, like, let's pull backwards. Let's go, like, you pull them before the disc gets here. Because they're not that scary to fight, and they'll just run towards me because they're stupid robots. Stupid robots. And then you can stay there, but, like, some of the others want to, like, fall back from this. I can put a flush into you. I actually have a ton of the cover I want here to engage them with. Nixie. Flush. Flushing target. One down. Everything by the numbers. That shouldn't you shouldn't activate the disc there, but just to be safe, we're not gonna we're not gonna attempt fate. We'll move you all. Roger that. Away, just to be safe. Oh, you've got a shot too, nice. Take your shot. Great shot, wow. I think it's just two seekers left now, right? I'm on it, Commander. Great shot. On the move. Affirmative. Covering now. Overwatch. I'll handle it. Thank you, LSR, for telling people apps they can use to stop subscribing to me. <laughs> I think there was one more cloak. Yeah, surprise, that's correct. It's been a while, but I think you're right. The Incamera Squad, sweet little cherub, does indeed bash people through glass windows of his shield and then say, Book him! <laughs> it's a good game. I like that game. Attacking that I think what was funny is I wanted to I thought it was pretty funny. You're being harsh on yourself. I thought it was good. Okay, I want to run over here and... Make sure my right flank is clear. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go watch where those sectoids are. Jeff says, I think you should give Kamara another run at some point. I should. I should. That'd be a fun time. I should. Emails come out for it. I'm sure there's some. We should look at the one side. Bye. One more left. Where Spider says game came out at the worst possible time to be Copaganda, but it's still a decent game if you can hold your note. Oh my god. Oh my god, my cats are going insane. Yeah, I, I never really like, apart from like the ironic joking of it, I never really felt like too like bad about Chimera Squad being like Copaganda because it's still XCOM where. It wasn't, I don't think it was really propaganda, it was more like, 
SWAT special forces, and it was still like the classic XCOM thing of like destroy property to save people. So it's like the opposite of what makes cops shit. Yeah, Chimera Squad isn't Law and Order SVU. Chimera Squad is just like s s XCOM counter terrorism, basically. Empress Brass says, I did a Chimera run about the computer person on Max Diff. Last stage, I got schwacked and finished the game of, I think, only one person staying. The game heavily cheats in your favor despite the Max Diff. Really? really? Usually, XCOM games don't do that on the Max. On Overwatch. It'll be quite a departure. I don't remember that. Oops. Should've locked and loaded, my bad. I'll be watching. Wasted turn. I lose. Yeah, I, I mean, aesthetically, like, it's, like, very much like, oh, look, XCOM are cops now, it's smart. But, it, but it, I think, like, in actual practice, yeah. I mean, th that's why XCOM, we've had this discussion where, like, are XCOM cops? No, XCOM are the opposite of cops, because they blow the fuck out of, like, every inch of, like, the shopping district in order to save, you know, 18 people in terror missions. XCOM are the opposite, they're great. I mean, it depends how you play, obviously. Like, I, mean, I guess, you know, you can be a commander and do the opposite, but... Oh, God, that'd be so fucked, doing, like, a roleplay of being, like... The worst boot heel fucking XCOM commander. No, we can't blow up the shopping district to save that person from chrysalids. Think of the property damage. No, our investors. Oh my god. Kitty's calm down. Back online. Moving to Overwatch. But still, but still my audience agrees with that, but my audience does not care about saving the poor Capellans inside buildings in Battletech and urban missions. There needs to be a mod where, like, you can hear the terror mission scream loop in the background from XCOM whenever you blow up one of those buildings, so people understand it's a bad thing and you shouldn't do it. And my chat can stop gaslighting me being like, No, there's no one in those buildings, Beagle! Watching for activity. No, the, that's an empty Capellan car park. Hey, by the way, what's up there, Corey? How you doing? How you doing this weekend? Well, how you going? Speaking of battle tech. Pull blowers in that building. <laughs> Blarded. Oh, that wasn't bait? It was not bait. Banny says, well, I think most people would have evacuated when the mechs rolled up. I don't think they could have. Y you're okay, you're just sitting here drinking pe peach brandy, eating brownies? That sounds tasty. No, no, guys, don't get me onto this again, because they couldn't have. Okay, they're just in there. For one, you, you not everyone can just evacuate from the city. For two, our mechs come in like quick reaction on like drop ships and drop pods. I'm gonna start- I'm gonna start doing this to people in Minecraft. I'm gonna start dropping my mech lance in your city. And then going, oh yeah, just evacuate, just evacuate as I like step on your house. I don't know where this seeker's gone. It's been very patient. <laughs> Bounty says just dig down. <laughs> just get in your earthquake bed. Kingdom says, get a mod that after you destroy a building, the after mission report gives a tally of Capellans who died in those buildings. Yeah, exactly. You, you need, like, an after mission report. People just don't care. A <laughs> Steiner Lance is dropped in Lego City. <laughs> just, do more, just do more Overwatches, I guess. This is just chilling here. Hi, guys, just chilling here. I'm gonna do a role-playing game where you all are in a Battletech world, and you're all civilians, and suddenly mechs drop into your city. And whenever anyone complains about it, the high command is just, of the other side, is just like, No, everyone evacuated in this city, why would you stay? Why would you stay here? <laughs> so Brimley says, after the end of a mission, the mechs are forced to walk down a philosophical river filled with all the souls of the people in those buildings. I've never heard of the MGS-3 river Weapons described as a philosophical river. Bunny says, you need to shoot the civ who fell off the bike. 
God damn it. Kinder Soul says, that sounds like a cool expansion back for this war of mine. That would be interesting, actually. Can the Ari Furry make Suze McCoy? Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of people playing that. I hope you're having fun with it. Guys, there was another Seeker, wasn't there? There was four of them. There was two Seekers and two drones. It cloaked. I'm not crazy. It's like a battle of wills here. It's like that thing in Tarkov where, like, your boyfriend bushes and you're both trying to convince yourself after you heard the footsteps stop of, like, oh, maybe they've left. It's been ten minutes. They've probably left. And then the minute you step outside of your bush, you get shot. That's what this Seeker is doing right now. We're just having that ten-minute Tarkov standoff of nobody doing any inputs. Ready to engage. Overwatch. Roger. I'm not going to be fooled. I know it's real. I know it's real. It's out there somewhere. Huh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you, you'd be terrible at Tarkov Seeker. You just got head-eyed. You're done, son. Zero APM strats, yeah. You can't actually shoot the fucker. Annoyingly enough here. Scab of a Taz. We're gonna beat we're gonna beat a scab of a Taz in a mission or two. Yeah, that's right, Matt. That's usually my plan. As everyone makes fun of me for. I actually, yeah, cannot see you here. Unless I step on you. It's probably better to let, let them come to me in like Overwatch spam though. Yeah, the ceiling won't break. So no point colliding train. I'm gonna like, hmm. Probably smoke, because we're not gonna use all this smoke anyway with the way this mission is going. So just smoke here and then we'll both shoot ya. Chris says, why would I make fun of you, Because It's a good plan. No, other people do. But you know what? They're all wrong. Let's shoot ya. Now that we're densey. Nice shot. Very nice. Not nice shot. Bad shot. I'm watching for them. Covering now. Do your worst seeker. Oh no, fuck, don't do that. What the fuck? Wait, you can see me? <laughs> That's right, it's battle planning, Mechor. In, in seriousness, everybody knows it's an effective strategy, just make fun of me because it's boring. Anyway, so this fucker can see me, but I can't see them, so I guess we're gonna move in to shoot them now. Except I still can't. What the fuck? Okay, you need to move then. Moving on target location. Target still up. Never hit. I'll handle it. All the gamers to activate over here have walked off, so we'll bring the scout back over too. Yeah. yeah? Gonna get me again, Seeker? Uh oh, wait, it's gonna go in the dense smoke now. But the dense smoke is about to expire. I am a tactical genius. The smartest man alive playing XCOM on your screens. Eyes peeled, Commander. Overwatch. Got it covered. I have it covered. Oh, we heard, Commandante. Ya podemos seguir. What? Okay, now that's actually pretty clever, but shoot him. <laughs> I 
I was gonna say it's pretty clever they didn't go for the strangle, but I remember they can't go for the strangle because of respirator. It is true, McCoy. If you put the machine gunner up high, you can suppress incoming foes. McCoy's actually not wrong. It might be a smart idea to hunt that disc. My first thought was like, yeah, buddy, but then I've got no cover. But actually, that's a pretty smart idea for, um... If I can get a long-range suppression on the disc down low and we hunt it later, that's, like, that's actually probably the way to do it. Um... But first, we're gonna get the, the Sekitoids. They're, they're, they're next. Es hora de correr. The Neurosis says, the recent Counter-Strike 2 news got me wondering, what if smoke and its come could be cleared by early by explosions? That'd be interesting, yeah. Pr pr I don't know if it'd be fun mechanically, but it'd be technically cool. Like, it is in Counter-Strike 2, it's pretty cool. But I've seen that, yeah. The main thing I like about Counter-Strike 2 that I've seen is that you can have the crosshair actually reflect, after 30 years, actually reflect your, um... 20 years, sorry. Um your spray pattern, so no no more like arbitrarily learning random, uh, well not so random, but learning the spray patterns. Which I think is really cool. The, the game basically has ADS now about the zoom in, right click toggle. I like that, that's good. Shows you what shows you what's going on. Uh, that's good. That's probably like one of the main reasons I never got much into Counter-Strike at a high level. Is just because I couldn't be fucked doing the StarCraft 2, StarCraft Brood War-esque muscle memory training, pro gamer training required to learn that. So that's pretty cool I think. I think that's pretty neat. Maybe I'll even do a dabble of Counter-Strike 2 when it comes out for that reason. It's real fucking neato. Position confirmed. Um, let's move you to here. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Why play- will you play Counter-Strike for kids, though? <laughs> I remember- I remember Counter-Strike for kids. Oh man, I remember Counter-Strike for kids. Moving out. Mm, look at that tasty extra health Zang has because of the extra con cheese. I love that. Providing cover at my location. On it. Bin. What in God's name is Counter-Strike for Kids? An old video that is from an era where I'm not gonna be able to remember if it was problematic or not. I, can't, I think it was made by the G-Man squad, wasn't it? That's like going back. Yeah, by the G-Man squad, Jeff, yeah. That's the kind of video where like, I remember enjoying it, but also I was a teenager. And I will not show it on stream because I cannot remember if it, like, had a slur in it or something problematic. As many things back in the day certainly did all over the place. Not that they don't now, but, like, I think society in general, like, advanced a bit in, like, saying, like, no, you shouldn't say that. You know what I mean? I think, like, collectively we kind of decided... At least in my experience. Like, maybe we won't say those things anymore, actually. Yeah, exactly, Jeff. Yeah. Exactly. Moving on target location. Let's reload. I don't want to go to here yet in case it activates the disc. Ready. Steady. Reload. <laughs> like the old Power Thurston and Brondo meme videos. Yeah, exactly. That, that kind of area. Yeah. That's all of them, yeah? Scout, what if you went solid snake on them? Probably not a good idea because then you'll be like cut off. Maybe just stay there. I kind of want to get some overwatch on them, but. Hmm. Bring the mech up and the mech can collapse them. Not really cut off if everyone advanced and makes rid of the magic spell of the house. Yeah. Pretty good call. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. I'm sure the cyber disc isn't inside the house. You imagine if the disc was inside the house? Oh, I'd be terrified. Oh, it'd be horrible. Moving.
All right, you go there. I have you covered. You can come here. That's affirmative. That's affirmative. You go there. Reloading now. Back online. Already there. Back in. Let's rock. That is funny, good What? Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. What? What? <laughs> that scatter. Okay, I don't know why that revealed, but that scatter was hilarious. You <laughs> you go, holy shit, an XCOM! And you immediately jump onto a ladder, run over it, <laughs> slide over the other side of the roof, and just start running for your fucking life. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. Na, na, na. That's how you play a lot of PUBG. Hey, it's a good reaction. I mean, they're not the one dying, are they? It's a good reaction. Don't laugh, it's working. Oh, yeah, that's the only sector who's gonna live. Excellent reaction to contact, honestly. Yeah, I like to imagine that too, Michelle. I like to imagine that the sector, like, the reason the move was so long is it got up onto the roof and then just slid. Ah! 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 Rolled off, like, this way. Bali says, okay, I checked. Counter Strike for kids does not seem to have any problematic 2007 comments. That's nice. That is always nice. You can't even watch, like, Cleveland Sucks without getting some of that sometimes. So that is nice. Oh, well, they can you magic spell a sightline? I think we can magic spell a sightline here. Well, the problem will be opening this door, but maybe you can dash to it and do it? Can you open doors on a dash? That is a question now. Because the only way to open a silo would be to get this door open. Alanon says no. For some reason, you need to run again with transmitters. You want the generator thing by the ladder? No. Not wheelie. You can command. I can command. Do we want to command to kill a sectoid? I mean, as long as the disc doesn't come and find me, it would be fine. You can't run through roller doors. No, Millsy, you can't. I could command it. Yes, I could command it. Because I'm pretty sure you can't blow this thing up. Oh, you know what? Like, maybe I could do some wacky shit here, though. It's not about the action economy, it's about sending a message. <laughs> um, maybe I could do... May, maybe I could do this. Hang on. Position confirmed. Here's an idea. What do you reckon? Like here? But on the other side. Boom. Preparing to fire. This might do it. It did that's not gonna do it. That is way smaller. That is way I thought that would take I d I don't know what I was thinking. Well, of course it wasn't gonna hit this. What was I thinking? What what the hell was I thinking? I ask you, what the hell was I thinking? Roger that. Scan watch. Aye, aye. Roger that. Scan I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking there, folks. I have it covered. Anando. Puffing some optimism, some copium, is what I was thinking. That's right, that's actually made the right choice to live longer, that's right. Might even get some damage on the scout. Not quite. 
Not quite, actually. Ben. I made a cute little firing port out of this house. So that's a win for me. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Position confirmed. Affirmative. I'm watching for them. Come get some. Cover that online. It's so fun to just sit still in Overwatch because you get to just see what the other team will do. It's like being uh, an audience member. Negative damage. Bye bye. An audience member for the team that always wins. Now I just have to find that disc. Where is that disc? Excellent reserve turns, obviously, Steve. Thank you, obviously, Steve. I think everyone should clap for me when my Overwatch turns work like that. When they go real good, everyone should clap. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye, Commander. It should be like golf. Let's bring some civility to the sport. Can you guys all clap when I win? Like when I make good turns and everything works the way I want. You should all just clap like golf. I'm watching. Thank you. Find a distance. Set up train top gunners on opposite side. Exactly. It's killing time. If they move, they die. Ready to engage. What a lovely little emote, Commandoism. Okay, Disky is right there. Shh. You hear that? Remind me to make a clap emote for my stream. I can help you guys out of this. You seem to be having some trouble like doing it enough. Golf, but with half the terrain damage. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty good. Oh, I pressed the laughter button on my stream deck, but it's not working today. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Anyway. But after does this mean we're also setting a par for each map? Oh, I don't like the golf metaphor anymore. I feel commander. I feel commander. Wow, he's one of the best players in the game. He's got the longest <laughs> The longest turns taken on this course. Wow, that's how you win an XCOM. I feel commander. Fifty over a par. I mean that's how you get me, basically. That's how you lambast my playstyle. Just talking about XCOM like it's got a par. Yeah, he's about 50 turns over par for that one. Roger, I'm covering that area. Super bogey. <laughs> Chinatown, yeah, you, you're on the mission, speed bump. No, wait, that was the other one. But you were almost on the mission. You're a gunnery sergeant. You're still going great. Okay, so there is your disky. There is your disky, disky, disky woo. Let's get the gunners over here and prepare for fun. Time to motor. If the disc stays low, you can have cover even. The problem is not getting activated on these shits though in the process. On my way. That's right, friend of the channel, Chinatown speed bump. That's right. I like to say things like friend of the channel because it also implies that, like, I have any kind of success. Like, I'm a channel of, like, enough talk show popularity or success that I could dare to have things like friend of the channel as though that was a real moniker of something. Moving on target location. Oh, I can actually shoot you from here. Interesting. Oh, like, German friend of the channel? Exactly. Pigeon says you're just strategy guy, though. That's right. I'm just strategy guy. We don't, we don't have success. I need to get into the team fight tactics to be a successful strategy streamer. Running. Like Kerberos says, friend of the channel implies there are enemies of the channel somewhere. There are. There, there are. Absolutely, there are. I have many enemies. 
Really, who doesn't in this day and age? Yeah, you're right, I should make a grudge book. Need this burrito. <laughs> Thank god we were like PG just making sure the people's face close to the crowd. What? <laughs> this is our opportunity to get our gunners in on the roof. Orders confirmed, moving out. The Kerbus says they're Colonel Burton. Interesting. I did not know you were Colonel Burton, but that is interesting to know. Do you guys know Colonel Burton is in the house tonight? That's crazy. Designated position. <laughs> but Ab says just do Total Hammer 3 as dwarfs and rename the enemy commanders people you have beef with and clear the book of grudges. What? So I'm gonna have like a beast man commander named like Christopher Odd and shit? <laughs> right. out. Infantry come back here. But that says Christopher is Zench, come on. Yeah, but Zench is smart. Was that too mean? It doesn't matter, like, I'm a tiny trash channel. It, he, he hasn't thought about me in 10 years. I don't live rent free in anyone's head. Understood. Moving out. Moving to position. You stay there, keep watching. Overwatch. I am. Overwatch. Roger. King of Britonia's panda. That that might make sense, yeah. So he says, Beagle, did you see the insane Dardic live with a psycho clutching solo against two full horses like 60 specials and two HP? No, was their name you? But no, I didn't see that. I'd watch it. Sammy, did you see the Zealot two-shutting a uh, demon host of the right Thunderhammer? Abathur says, I like Odd Cope. Sorry, I don't know the last time I watched Odd in all seriousness. <laughs> you had me going there for a second. Sammy says, no, but my friend Sammy, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, I'll watch it. You know I'm a dark type fan myself. You know I enjoy a bit of it. Have the infantry come out to here. On the move. On task. I DM, do you? Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe I'll watch it after stream, but still sounds cool. Maybe I'll watch it on stream, we'll see. But that's two minutes less of Stalker Gamma. I gotta get these missions done quicker so we can switch over already. Big ol' racing to play some Stalker Gamma today. Position you should have demon host double headshot crit. There's a there's a perk you can get for the Thunder Hammer. Overwatch. That um, scales damage with how long you hold a heavy attack, Overwatch. and it's pretty nuts. Aye, aye. Covering that area. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Who is dead in this campaign? Uh, no one for a while. We're doing pretty good at the moment. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, it's very much Benny, like a damn shorty. Okay, kind of uh, setup. It's very good. It's called thrust, I think, is the perk, and it's very good. Roger that. Ayo, yeah, Ayo. Moving out. Overwatch. Got it, got I'll it. handle it. I feel, Commander. <laughs> What the fuck? There's like 10 discs over there, Jesus. I'm covering that area. I'm just gonna have Overwatch in case it suddenly teleports. Why are you going over there now? Don't do that. Don't go upwards. Fucking thing. I'm on. I'm they are hiding in the corner. They really are. Come back now. Follow your patrol path. 
So, so what's Gamma? I've been playing Anomaly a lot lately. Is that another mod? It's a it's a mod pack built on of Anomaly, so better, even better. You really just gonna sit there, Disc? It's really just sitting in the fucking corner now. Here we go. Let's just swap that. Well, you're you're about to see me play today, so you'll see if it's worth swapping to. I haven't done it before. I think we should start shooting it. Just start fucking shooting it. But then it goes high and then I can't hide advantage it anymore. No, I don't, because then it goes high. Don't be fooled into doing something, Beagle. I know it's tempting to do something, but don't be fooled. Okay, but they really are just gonna sit there. Okay. Fuck it. I will be fooled. Yeah, this one does. First, kill off the Seekers. Maybe. Or maybe the drone first. Stalker. I don't know how much health Stalkers have. The, killing the drones. We'll get, the, we'll get to the drones. We'll get to them. Kill the Seekers first, I think. You're gonna kill them anyway. Yeah, you're just gonna do like 4 damage. It's chill. Okay, now they're coming. Now I can come back. Good. You can also see the range there. It's where that drone is. How would you feel if then it just fucking shot you? It can't have. It can't have. It can't have squad side. It's fine. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna counter come now. That's right. One. I think this is gonna be worth doing some command on. I don't think this is gonna have squad sight, right? I think it's fine. So I don't think. Uh, maybe. You've got plenty of smoke anyway, just smoke. <laughs> Empress Press is large, this can absolutely have squad sight. Well, there you go. Let's just smoke just in case. I'm gonna command you. That chance to hit still kind of sucks. But I'm sure you won't miss. Destroy. Nixie! That is a double up. Destroyed, good. He's down. Do a flush. Flushing target. Give him one of these ones. Destroyed. And maybe some free damage onto you and then the drone will go backwards and won't hunt me. Back into your little hole. Overwatch confirmed. Because the gunner couldn't shoot that other drone, you see. Now, hopefully, the disc does not fly high into the air. Because that would not be what we want. That would not be a Lamau. That disc is flying high into the air. That is not what we want. Oh, but we can see him still. We must be so much higher. This is because of mech the Mech Warrior's smart plan to stand on top of the boxcars. Though even so, you wouldn't think I'm that much higher than the mode. Apparently I am. I don't know how the fuck that works, but I'm gonna take it. I will take it. What are my cats eating? Hang on, I gotta go see what my babies are doing. One sec again. Just 
They're just playing with that mousy rattle toy, it's okay. Alright. Do we get much higher? No, I mean, we're dank smoked on top of a train car. I don't think we can get any higher. Let's suppress you. So now you're turned off. You're gamed. Then I game you. Absolutely gamed. Not gamed. Alan says, this is some serious mods, is it not? Yeah, we've got a mod pack on, X mods. Exclamation mark, X mods in chat if you want to see what they are. Um, but we've also got Long War on, which is the big, basic... I was about to say survival mod. The big, basic, like, upgrade, challenge, and overall just everything good mod for this game. Definitely recommend it. Now that you're turned off, we'll come up high with the sniper. Reload. And uh, this is it for the rest of the... Oh, because it's not really high? What the fuck? Wait, what? What the fuck did that disc just do to me? What? Wait, I had vision. It was in the air. And then it just... It... It, it what? Wait, so now I won't be able to... S What the fuck? Why the fuck does this shit always happen? Okay, well that's not great. I'm kind of scared now. Now the sniper has to go back down again. You should conceal yourself now! I'm on the move. I have to smoke again, just in case. Lightning says, if it just deactivated flight, it might not trigger suppression. You might be right, and that might be the, like, multiplayer level plays in the AI there. That's like the smartest fucking disc to do that. Good lord, that's clever. I'm watching for them. That is clever. Position confirmed. That is a very clever disc. Back in. Back in. I'm impressed. And scared. <laughs> Jeff Frank says it didn't deactivate flight though, it still has the flight cover bonus. We saw it. Oh, he says so. Look, don't take this away from the clever disc. <laughs> oh god. That's some tabletop rules lowering, yeah. I'd agree. What you doing? D disc, disc here. Disc here now. So now we're gonna move to a position where we can see it and start shooting it again. And we should we should have sightline on that pretty easily though. You've made a fatal blunder now, I think, disc. I think, unless that road sign's in the way. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Perfect. So run to here. Exactly perfect vision. Let's get some shred on ya. Oh, let's just fucking kill you. I always forget that I have Gauss LMGs that shoot depleted uranium 50 cal rounds. Goodbye. Another kill for Dick Dozer. Another day. Another successful operation. Easy. Played that one well, I think. We can only hope that all of our future deployments go as well as this one did. Everything by the numbers. Uh, and that gives you a scout with sprinter is the usual choice here. We love go fast. <laughs> Empress Brad says Exxon doesn't use 50 cal, but 69 cal. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, Spraz. We will be in touch, Commander. All right, what's next? <gasps> yeah, oh boy, this is going well, Benny, I agree. Oh boy, this is going so well. 
I need to augment more soldiers. 60 mil, it costs so much to make a mech trooper. And I'm not getting any meld. Wingtip Sparrowhawks plus 5 aircraft equals so much firepower. Yeah, we should get that too, you're right. We can't. Meld. Meld, meld, meld. We have armored fighters at least, which is pretty sick. No! No, I need that. The new combat systems project is complete. And let's just get chem finally, right? PG Ship says, maybe, hear me out, alien base assault for meld. No, I mean, you're right, we need to, yeah. When we get better armor, I think we go on a base assault. I don't think we can do it until we get powered safely. I guess we may as well build a chem grenade. Have at least one, would be good. Um, gives us all the other random crap, too. Do we want any of this other random crap? That's a rude beagle. Someone worked hard on these items. And his name was Johnny Lump. Yeah, well, I don't want to use the LA bipod, Johnny Lump. I don't want that. Why not? Because it's not worth the slot. Not right now, anyway. Maybe with Tack Rigging, yeah. Yeah, if it still worked for Gunners, maybe. Five minutes for Baby Snipers, that's a way of looking at it, yeah. Armor Piercing Ammo. I didn't use it last time, so I already know I don't need it. It's not work of Sodoms or Shotguns. Gunners. A mech. Meh. I want none of it. So did G says J Lump hates the idea of MMGs, but J Lump invented the MMG. How can you say that? J Lump gave us MMGs in this game. You fool. I don't use that, so we don't need that. The inventor of the K-Cup hates the K-Cup, says Silver Moonsley. What the hell's a K-Cup? Do we get anything over here? I don't think we did. I think it's just chem you get that for, really. K-Cup with those coffee pods? Oh. Why do they hate them? Apart from the fact that they're probably incredibly wasteful. And overpriced. Not that I drink coffee. Jalen also gave us the airbase defense. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <coughs> Silver Millie says that's exactly it. They're incredibly wasteful. Did that person not understand that when they were inventing them? Did they just not expect them to catch on that much? Like, what's the story? Mediacal says it was made to reduce waste. No need to make so much coffee when you only need a cup. What? It's made to reduce waste of coffee. But... The end it was so much plastic, yeah. And they just didn't realize that until they got made at scale. Is it your regret set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, I mean it's good that he regrets it, I guess. They may have invented it in a reusable cup, but then they made them disposable. Well, that's also true, too. You don't know. Reduce waste, incinerate the consumer in Minecraft. Alright, so we're just making chemis. 
and then carrying on. Nictus of the Mafia success! Yes, motherfucker! Yes, good job! Well done. Very poggies. And we can make Jeffrunks or not Ramiel. Both have uh, things too now. Oh, we can get Pig General, have Mind Prey. Let's go. Give us some more poggies. What's this mission? Operation Final Hammers, another extraction. Okay, we can do this, I guess. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Scoot. Take people who you want to level more on this operation. So, Sergeant Buttercup. <laughs> Sergeant Buttercup, what a great name. What a great nickname. Sergeant Buttercup. That's great. I love that. It's very cute. Yeah, no consumer on this one, Bounty, but that should be alright. You generally don't really need it, I think, on these missions, hopefully. Because it's generally... Generally, you don't really need anything except the ability to maybe support the operative if everything goes to hell. But you, you do need a lieutenant, sorry. You do need a medic, though. Pixie, let's go. Level you up to dense smoke. Ankronon says Buttercup is just a really solid name. Yeah. It's a good name, I'd agree with that. It's a solid name, yeah. Brit's is better than Scooby. You don't like Scooby Brit? You'd rather be called Buttercup? Too bad, I guess. She's green like the Powerpuff Girl too. Yeah, but Buttercup is the blue one, isn't she? Uh, I take Ranger here, yeah, yeah. And that's Bubbles. Buttercup is the green one. Okay, well, there you go. Excuse me, Beagle, that's Bubbles, I'm sorry. Yeah, fake fan, sorry. I thought I was right, and I thought I was about to instead get people joking at me for, like, knowing the names of the Powerpuff Girls. Oh boy, was I not ready to be wrong, and to instead be lambasted for not knowing the names of them. <laughs> that went the complete opposite way for me. Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup. I feel like two of those are flower-related, and one of them is just Bubbles. Where's the consistency, y'all? Subject G says, to be fair to the Japanese, maybe you're right. What does that mean? What does that mean? HMS Buttercups is a flower class, really enough. Yeah, Buttercup is a flower, isn't it? Bounty says, the Japanese have one word for blue and green. What? I have never learned that, really? Japan calls green, stoplights blue. What? So how do they... That doesn't make sense though, but how do they differentiate between green and blue? It's not the same color. It's not the same color. Bubbles is a type of flower. No, it isn't. Shut up. Is it? There are different words for green and blue in Japanese. Yeah, what? What? Aoi can either mean green or blue depending on context. But there is Midori and Ao. I don't know. Y'all y'all fight each other about that. Don't come to me. I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. I don't speak Japanese. Jeff says there's a lot of languages that use a word translators call Gru. It's just an old language thing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's back when everyone was colorblind. I get ya. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
you know, back like 10,000 BC. <laughs> back, in, back, back, you know, 10,000 years ago, they're just like, what color is this? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, pointing down at the grass, pointing up at the sky. Hey, that's the same fucking color. What? No, it isn't. And then they spear that guy to death. The person who says those are different colors, they speared them to fucking death. That's what happened back in 10,000 BC. <laughs> no, this guy's definitely a different girl. No, they're dead. Dead. Burned at the fucking stake. Dead. Executed. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here. Jeff says a lot of languages don't use a specific word for pink, they just call it light red. See, that, that's fair. I get that. If they were calling it, like, l light green and dark green, I could get it. But it's not the same, same girl, that's weird. But okay, fair enough, I can see that then, yeah, like, light, light pink. Light red and, and red. That's like, uh, red versus blue. Th that's right, thanks, Donut. Obviously, Steve says, Beagle, do you ever think you'd be cancelled over colors? Uh, they can't get me over this, no, I'm right. Elisara says, one of the few cases where the Sapir Wharf hypothesis is kind of true is that people whose native language doesn't have words for two similar colors will have a harder time differentiating between those colors. What, like, like, psychologically? Like, they'll just be like, that's the same color? Or you're just saying, like, the obvious are like, they'll be like, they have less ways to describe it. Jeff says, until the orange fruit was discovered, English didn't have a word for the color that we now call orange. It was just a shade of red. Really? Really? I actually did not know that. Is that true? Wow, Jamie, is that true? Can you pull that up? I feel like I'm just like being, being an idiot right now, just believing whatever chat tells me. Which means now chat's about to start saying fake shit, so I'm not gullible anymore, I'm not gonna listen to anything chat says for the next 30 minutes. Be saying Hugh. Hugh, 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 Hugh. That's the laugh I laugh when I tell someone that there's only. that the orange was invented with the orange. Okay, let's do this. Blades coming out, says Ragemon. Really? Where? I haven't seen him since Midnight Suns. Good for him, though. We've picked up an exalt cell operating inside Japan. Strike one will need to move in and assist our operative in securing the new data. Pray for good transmitters. I feel like this one usually has good transmitters. Linky says, it's true. It was because the English couldn't imagine things that they don't take from colonized peoples. 